Hi everybody, welcome back to another lesson in my level three beginner piano course. In this video we're going to learn Kabalevsky's Waltz from Opus 39, number 13. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. Also I offer online piano lessons if you're looking for one there's going to be information below. I put Kabalevsky's Waltz into the technique and performance section of the D minor chapter in level three because it's not only a beautiful piece to play but it's very very good technically. It has lots of beautiful phrases and coordination of dynamics and legato staccato between the two hands. It's from Kabalevsky's Opus 39 collection which has great pieces for intermediate and beginner students and they're all character pieces so trying to convey uh, a feeling, a mood and a character. This piece of course is in D minor and we are in 3-4 so three quarter note beats in every bar but we start on an upbeat, each phrase starts on an upbeat. Since we're in D minor, every B is going to become B flat. And as you can see, the left hand is accompanying the right hand melody with staccato two note chords all the way through, which has to be very light, very bouncy, and just kind of in the background, allowing the right hand to really shine. The right hand phrases are quite stretchy and we need to really connect those notes with beautiful legato. The, the wrist is going to move with the melody is going to connect and we need wrist circles and some lateral movement of the arm to make sure everything is staying very fluid all the way through and we have to lift up between the slurs and we have to shape those slurs by doing some natural dynamics as the melody is rising with the crescendos as the melody is falling we round off. So let's see the first section, which I would say is from bar one until bar 17. The left hand is going to start on D, F, one, three, and then it moves to C, E. So the counting goes like this. Be careful with the treble clef at the start. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now again, very lightly staccato and make sure the two notes go down perfectly together. Instead of a little bit of a delay. So let's go the whole uh, 17 bars. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. C, E, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now moving to F sharp, A, one, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. F natural, one, two, three. One, two, three, and D sharp and G sharp, two, four, one, two, three, E and G sharp, and finally an A chord, A and E. And that's the end of the first section. So very lightly, evenly, almost like a metronome passing in the background. The right hand first phrase goes like this. Lift. So as you could see, I'm really moving the arm and the wrist to accommodate the stretchy melody and to really connect those notes and have a deep key attack. Beautiful legato connecting the notes and emphasizing the first note in each bar as it's the, the most important beat and making those quarter notes or crotchets a little bit lighter. So the counting goes like this. We start on an upbeat on the A. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, lift. Now again, as we approach that highest note, we get louder and then we can round off as we come down that little scale in the end. And then back to the A, but it's a C this time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, lift. And this lift is really important because now we have shorter slurs, so we have to separate them by lifting the hands. Three, one, two, three, one, lift. Three, one, two, three, one, lift. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And here we have an octave in the end and be careful with the B natural. So in the right hand, it's really important to lift up between the phrases, have a good downbeat for the first note of each slur and 
making sure that the melody stays very connected and we emphasize the right notes in the melody and we add some natural dynamics. When we put it hands together, the key thing is to keep the right hand legato, whilst the left hand is bouncing for its staccatos, and to make the right hand louder than the left hand chords, so they can really shine. Things that I've seen before, is that the right hand comes up with the left hand chords, or that the uh, chord carries on. rests are not observed, so make sure the rest is observed. Three, one, two, connect, connect, lift, sharp, D sharp, B natural, so right hand is like butter, spreading butter on a, on a piece of toast, very very connected and beautiful legato. Second section, left hand is staying in this A position for one more bar, one, two, and then back to D, F, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, C, E, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, then up to A and C, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, four on the G, B flat, one, three on the F, A, two, four on the E, G, and finally, a full D minor chord. D, F, A. Right hand is going to start the upbeat on a B natural. Three, one, two, C sharp, and back to the starting phrase. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, lift. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, lift. Three, one, two, three, one, lift. 3, 1, lift, B flat, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. So we have 1, then 3, then 2, 5, 1. Let's put it hands together, so left hand starting in the A, E position, right hand on the B natural. 3, 1, 2, 3, back to D. Connect, connect, lift. One, two, rest. One, two. Now jumping up and quieter. Lift, C, B flat, B flat. almost whispering in the end, and we have that tie in the right hand. So dynamics-wise, we're supposed to start quietly in the beginning. The only real dynamics we have in the actual score is in bar 22, where we have this crescendo. That's the loudest part of the piece, and then it goes diminuendo when we jump up. finishing very quietly. Now you can add a lot more than that. You can add, as I said, crescendos as you go up and diminuendos as you round off each phrase. It can be made a lot more expressive, a lot more dynamic, and that's eventually going to lead to a much nicer and more enjoyable performance. And it's also good for your expressive skills and technical abilities. Practice very slowly, hands separately is crucial in this piece to really feel the legato of the right hand and the staccato lightness of the left hand before you put it together. Make sure you count very steadily, one, two, three, otherwise you're going to lose some of the rests or miss out some of the beats. And more important than ever, lift up the hand between the slurs and shape, phrase that melody as best as you can.